Hello. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about access database relationships this morning. So in your assignment that you're going to work on this week, um, you're working on um, project two or chapter two in Microsoft Access, and it's creating relationships between tables. So make sure that you read this information on pages 35 to 59, because for some of you, you may not have any idea what it is that you're going to work with. So you're going to download the instruction sheet, which looks like, oh, I thought I downloaded it. Um, I must not have. So we'll open up the instruction sheet quick. And from the instruction sheet, what you're going to do is see that you have some relationships to create. And what they've done is they've joined like fields within the tables that you can create relationships on. You have to have a primary key assigned in a table to be able to create a relationship with that. Now, if you have a primary key in this table, for instance, with client, it's denoted with an asterisk. We come over here and notice that client ID here is not a primary key, it's called a foreign key, and that's fine. You can join a primary key field to a foreign key field to be able to pull any fields from this table into a report, let's say, that you're creating. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at the database. So first thing you always want to do is open up your database and look and see what tables or what fields you're working with within those tables. So you can see where you're going to be forming relationships. If you have to expand those fields, go ahead so that you can see what it is that you're working with. Um, so I'm just going to do this really quickly. Okay, so I can already see that I'm going to be dealing with client ID as a primary key field, a claim ID, um, there's client ID again, and it shows up yet again. So when we go to create relationships, you have to, um, I'm going to close the table. I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to database tools and here you see relationships. So I'm going to click on relationships and I have to add tables to my grid. So I click on show table. I'm just going to go ahead and add all of these tables. I double click on them and I can add them. Let's say that you accidentally added a table twice. So I added assignments twice. Notice how it shows up assignments one. Just right click on that and hide that table. Make sure that you can see all of your fields within your table so that you know what it is that you're going to create relationships on. So to create a relationship, all I have to do is left click on client ID because it's got a key in front of it, left click with my mouse, drag over client ID and release it. And I should get a relationships window that shows up that says client ID to client ID that I enforce referential integrity, make sure it's a one-to-many relationship, and if it tells me to cascade update or cascade delete, I can check those. If it doesn't tell me to do that, then I just leave those unchecked, and I click create. And so what you see here is a one-to-many relationship. One field in the assignments table joins or relates to many fields in the clients table. Now, sometimes people make a mistake and let's say that um, I'm going to go from license number in the coverage table over to license number over here, but I accidentally don't hover over the right one. When this pops up, these two fields need to match license number and, and license number, and this says date of claim. So I need to close that and go back and redrag over license number so that I can create that relationship. These windows are movable. So if you need to move some out of the way so that you can see where your relationships are created, you may certainly do that. If you are asked to print the relationship report, you simply click on relationship report, and then it's going to give you the default name. Just be sure you can see all of your tables clearly on that report. And then um, you can go ahead and close the print preview. Um, you can close the and it'll save it with the default name, and it will show up over here as an object. So then I can go ahead and close this. Now, if I go back to this relationship report, there it appears. Um, if I go back to my database tools and click on relationships, 
it still shows up there. So you have to have a primary key field in order to create that relationship. It's going to ask you in your assignment to be setting some other primary key fields, I would assume, because claim ID in this table doesn't have one. So it's possible that it will ask you to add some. If it doesn't, that's fine. You just create the relationships that it asks for. Hopefully this will help you working with relationships um, in your Access Chapter 2. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Have a great day.